have intercourse with them. With those girls. Have these girls do things to these men and it's really traumatizing. I know you're saying, ah, I raised them in a Christian house. It will never happen. Shut up. Shut up. There is power and there is power. These people are nameless and faceless. You have a name, you have a face, and they can make you disappear. I, I have rapped in a program I did, a Weird Weekends episode about rap. Can you remember any of the rap that you did? My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. It makes me want to dribble dribble, you know. Riding in my fear, you really have to see it. Six feet two in a compact. No slack, but luckily the seats go back. I got a knack to relax in my mind. Sitting out red, red wine. Nice. <laughs> my money don't jiggle, jiggle. It folds. I like to see you wiggle, wiggle. For sure, it makes me wanna dribble, dribble. You know, we are fresh faced, really washed. You know, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's our serums washed our face. Oh, we look alive now. <laughs> All right, so um, I need to grab a cup of coffee because, baby, is you thirsty? Because what we got today, what we got to talk about today, baby, grab something to drink because, honey, you're going to be parched. Not hungry, but parched. You will. <laughs> Okay, in all seriousness, I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee, go into the rooftop, it's great sunlight, because I need to take my vitamin D in every single morning. It's like a ritual I have now. So come with me, let's go get some vitamin D and talk about this porta porti situation. Because baby, there's so much to unravel, so much. And I need you guys to pay close attention, especially if you are younger or didn't have the guidance that you thought that you should have had. And you would know, you would know. Um, I got you. Let's talk about this. Hi guys so let's just get into it so there are three things that i feel like i'm missing from this conversation actually two things so first obviously there's the whole you know the actual potter potty situation right what it entails the health disasters blah, blah blah then there is the slavery component that almost no one is talking about and then the third is power the power dynamics so I'm going to delve into this and I'm going to cover what people are basically not covering. But first, let's talk about what the porta potty thing is. If it's your first time, let me explain this to you. Porta potty is basically a human potty, that a portable potty. Um, basically, poop pleasure, pooping in someone's mouth, chest, body, whatever. Just the actual sexual pleasure um, that comes with you know poop poop pleasure right it's a kink just like choking is a kink just like bdsm is a kink just like feet can be a kink right poop is a kink and i will never shame anyone who has a kink there are many you know things that make people develop certain kinks um if a kink is harmful for you obviously you have to seek help for it if a, a kink is harmful for others, you have to seek help for that and stop. Um, however, if a kink is harmful to no one, do you, right? 
there are many reasons why i say this a spiritual component to it but if you like this video and you feel like we need to really delve into this thing we will because it's deep it's deeper than the surface level so that is what you know a porta potty is i would like to also delve into what no one's talking about which is the power dynamics in the situation so there are there have been reports obviously I, so first of all this has been going on for the whole influence and creative economy let's just put it that way but obviously with the beauty of the internet is everything really comes to light and exacerbates right so i feel like every three four years we have this oh my god this is happening in dubai every three four years um but the same way this is happening in dubai is the same way slavery is being conducted in dubai right it's the same way slavery is being conducted in libya in all these places and no one's really talking about it so i watched this video where um a lagos based babe she's on tinder right very young girl um i tried to find the video again i literally watched it yesterday i tried to find the video today couldn't find it so she's basically showing her tinder account record right of a conversation with a guy who's asking hey you know are you you know you're based in lagos you're based in where are you based in and the girl's like oh i'm based in lagos and she was like and he was like oh what he was like what are your thoughts on sex work do you do sex work she's like no i'm not into hookup culture i don't you know do that and in nigeria when they say hookup it's literally prostitution right pay for play so she said no she's not really into that and he goes how old are you she goes i'm 21 and he goes perfect the younger the better so they're basically recruiting her. And then he said, well, you want some money? I can bring you to Dubai for 10K. And she said, no, again, I'm not into hookup culture. So she's like, all right, let me see how far these people are willing to go. So she's like, yeah, but you know, I have a friend so who might be interested. So can you explain what she needs to do? And he's like, I'll cover the passport, I'll cover this, I'll cover that, I'll cover everything. And um, we'll pay you 10K and then we'll pay you another amount when you come over. And he's like, you know, I'm very into slavery. I'm looking for, you know, a slave. This is not the kind of slavery I'm talking about, right? Because slavery is unwilling, right? So he's basically explaining a kink okay and either that or he's telling her sell your girl to me sell your friend to me as a slave sell your friend to me this is how they're viewing this young black nigerian naive 21 year old baby doll on tinder okay so I don't like this idea of how they're saying, oh, influencers, influencers, influencers. No, no. It's just that it's easier for the public to mock influencers, to mock people who show a lavish lifestyle and no one knows their real source of income, right? So it's nice to laugh at them and to mock them, etc. But their aunties in the village, their aunties in the city, their aunties are doing it. Their sisters are doing it. Their brothers are doing it okay just because their brothers and sisters are not online on the internet you know flaunting that stuff it doesn't mean they're not doing it <laughs> it doesn't mean it's not happening right but they feel a moral upground or they feel better if they can mock someone who has something over them and they don't know their source of income and it's important that we criticize the systems obviously but to mock them you're playing yourself you're playing your generation you're playing yourself. That is not the way to attack this. They're outing girls, putting their names out there, putting Ghanaian influencers out there, putting Nigerian influencers, dropping names. There's a website even, I'm not going to name it because I don't want to put this whole culture, but it's a full on website where it's exposing with names and videos of girls who have to do like a visual disclaimer that, hey, yes, I know what I'm going, like a visual contract recorded saying, hey, I know that I'm going to get pooped on to do this, to have all these activities. I agree to them for the amount and the cost of this much money, right? And they put all that on blast and blast these babes. So I feel that that's very sad, but human beings, certain human beings for you. Anyway, so that said, these recruiters, 
for these billionaires are recruiting not only on social media they're recruiting on tinder where young girls go to find love where young men go to find love because it's not relegated to just women young boys as well not men boys because we know arab culture we know muslim culture and boys they like boys they like little boys it's like the greeks they're on that greek ish they love boys it's like the ancient greeks but anyways so they're recruiting your children your sisters your brothers on all of these platforms right and they're recruiting vulnerable people it's the same way people recruit in the army they go to high schools where that are impoverished you'll never see them in rich areas all these army recruiters you see them in poor vulnerable areas right it's a whole big system same way you're going to see these wealthy you know dubai sheikhs they're not going to go to well-established you know places to look for people no they're going to go to vulnerable places where little girls or young girls are looking for love in their 20s where they're looking for love they're going to go on social media where it's easy access to young impoverished girls or boys they're going to go to any length or any you know place they can go to find people easy access to people that are vulnerable strip clubs etc they go there they recruit and hungry babes in the strip club who have, but their eyes are open, right? They're sharp, they're smart, they're street savvy. They're not going to put themselves into those situations unless they're really, really willing to do it. Instead, they will pimp other young, naive friends out. So let's say I'm a street babe. You know, I've grown up in the streets. My parents didn't take care of me. I had to take care of myself. I had to finance my sibling's life. I had to take off take us off the street at a very tender age i don't know left from right your hustle is sharp your brain is sharp you are on the umpteenth level of survival so human life that is not attached directly to you like your siblings you don't care so what they do they you know they go to the they strip or something they will probably find one girl they meet through some rich guy like they go you know some suburban friend that they have who's young and naive and say hey babe you're in college okay great but you know um is your mom sending you enough money every week no oh my god you don't have money to do this girl don't worry about that let's just go on a yacht this weekend this friend of mine he's so rich he said he just wants some of us to just go party with them and because we're pretty he i showed him your picture and he wants you to just come over for 50k babe yeah you don't have to tell your mom girl yes that easy there's so many stories about this right and then this is where the slavery component comes in you do that with a young black girl especially they go over there and it is beyond just you know what's going to be happening on the trip they don't give you the full itinerary because your friend knows you're not going to go so when you get there what happens when these men try to shit on you and you're, you're flinching they grab you by the hair they hit you they force you and they will do whatever they want to do with you if you're unlucky like some um, cases that have come up you get killed or get missing or just never come back but when somebody's money is long, here's where power comes in. When the money is long, when the money has arms and tentacles that you can't even reach, that when the money is so long, you don't even see the source. Be very careful. Because you can, the 10,000 of you can go missing and nothing will touch this person that made you go missing. That's long money. That's long money. That's power, pass, power. Do you understand? So you guys have to be very, like, you have to understand what is at play here. And I feel that people are not talking about the slavery component because a lot of these women who are, you know, sucked into this and don't know the full scope of what's going on at all. A friend can say, I have a job, an actual job for you in Dubai. Or an agent says, oh, no, I'm an agent. I have a job here. I know you're in the village, you're not doing anything. Come, let's go to Dubai and make money. I have a full-time job for you. They go over there and they put them straight into slavery, right? Where they're beating them up. They're t putting them in cages. Putting them in cages, having dogs, animals, all sorts of things have intercourse with them. 
with those girls have these girls do things to these men and on boys it's really traumatizing it's really traumatizing what i would say to young girls and young boys who are seeing this and if you have them in your family just send this to them because i know you're saying ah i raised them in a christian house it will never happen shut up shut up I raised them in a good Muslim house. I gave them all the money they need. I did this. I did that. There's no way my children would shut the hell up, baby. Because if they're getting all, you know, adults, they can get children. Relax. Relax. There are many ways, you know, to scale a fish. Relax. Just the information is the power. Okay. And then there are also these young girls and guys who have fetishes, right? who they're not going to suffer if you poop on them. They actually enjoy it. They're going to fulfill their fantasies. I will still say that if the money is long, relax. Because if you don't have a way to protect yourself from someone who is incredibly powerful and rich, right? And I'm talking even if it's just to go and party on a yacht, right? But you're partying on a yacht with who? Even let's say none of this potter party thing will happen, right? You're literally honestly just going to invite her to go party on a yacht with a bunch of very powerful people. If you're going to party on a yacht with, you know, well-to-do people, you know their character, you know these people, you know everything you need to know. Like if something happens to you, they will be in trouble. You have ways of making sure they're going to be in trouble. Fantastic. But if you're going where the money is long, 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 one, and two, you don't know these people, you have included money and then you have also included power. Dangerous. Because there's power and power past power. So if anything happens to you, you're done. Right? You're, you're literally done. So even if you are going just to a yacht, if a fight breaks up, anything happens to you, if they say, ah, I want to see, you know, the color of your pubic hair, show us. What are you going to do? Oh my God, why are you guys being weird? He just wants to see the color of your pubic hair, girl pull it down oh you want us to pull it down for you like are you are you, are you deep in this like there's power past power and anything that happens there you're done you're either gonna be go missing or you're on your own to deal with that trauma nobody will be there for you you just cannot you don't even know their names these people probably don't even have records of their names anywhere. Like, I'm telling you that this is not someone who is born in the country. They still take such a security number and they track them. No. There is power and there is power. While you're in the system and you work and you have social security number and you have birth certificates here and there. <laughs> there's some people who don't who don't live like that i'm sorry to tell you they don't do oh social security number this way they are tracking them no they have ways to be tracked by their loved ones by their family they have ways to be protected they don't need a government system that will track them like i don't think you understand the government cannot track them there is power and there is power these people are nameless and faceless you have a name you have a face and they can make you disappear I will just conclude with this. Slavery is happening right now, 2022. Slavery is happening right now. It's not a transatlantic slavery, does not make it less. There are boys in Dubai who are still, you know, who are riding camels for sports. Young boys, slaves that have been taken from different parts of West Africa, Ghana, Cameroon, Nigeria, all passing through Libya. Okay, and I'm very happy to do a video on this because I feel like a lot of people are just not talking about this. And I'm like, if you're so mad about the transatlantic slavery, why are you not hap um, doing anything about the slavery that's happening now, especially as a person of color, as a black person? And so I will do more videos on this because I think it's super important to bring awareness to the actual slavery that's happening now. So long story short, my next video is going to be covering what's going on, the slavery and the routes that are happening in Libya, Egypt, all these places. I feel like it's important for you guys to understand what's going on. All right. Slavery is occurring right now. So this whole Potter Potty business, it's one thing for them to go and grab these girls who are going to give them the poop pleasure and other kinks that, you know, are so taboo. Right it's one thing but another thing is you can come and they can decide i really like you do you want to stay you say no they say okay i'll make you stay then and it's a wrap it's a wrap
they'll make you do all kinds of crazy things and then they'll discard your body the second that there's no value left this is real so there's slavery happening in that you know the sex slavery that's happening that is not being discussed with this whole potter potty business instead you people want to you want to and over people who have sacrificed their lives their health and everything to take care of their cousins their mothers their siblings to pay school fees to start a business so that they don't ever have to do that again you're laughing <laughs> over people who were fooled into going on there and things happen to them you're laughing <laughs> over girls who willingly stupidly took themselves over there to grab money to come and flex for in a capitalist society that has raised them and trained them to value this type of things that you do not value them until they have these things because you're not following the babes on tiktok who look like a stick or who are incredibly fat who just live a normal life who are saying, oh, they're in a life of me going to work at ShopRite. They're in a life of me going to work at my $8 an hour job. Are you watching them? Are you standing them? Are you seeing their progression and their growth through life? So you're not. You're following the babes who have, you know, who are shaped like Coke. You're following the men who are scamming and who have all this money to do all these type of horrendous things. That's what you're doing. And then you want to pretend like, oh my God. And like oh my god it's all fake look at these people <laughs> you're mad you're mad subscribe <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and you want me to do more on this please subscribe okay subscribe like comment let me know your thoughts on this and until next week i've been chichi for salt and culture so we got a little more culture than salt today um but it's because I thought we really need to focus on what matters when we are discussing the viral potter potty video. If you're going to talk about the viral potter potty video, please make it count. Please stop trying to expose and please talk about the things that people need to hear for their own protection. All right, bye. I broke my business. I'm a shadow, you go right. Well, I care for the night.